I'm your host Dan Rojas and this is the metal mirror that we have information on our website about. This is a flexible mirror. It's a first surface mirror meaning that there's no, it's not like a glass mirror or an acrylic mirror where the light has to pass through the glass to get to the reflective surface and then pass back out again. This is flexible so you can use it perfectly for a trough mirror. What I'm going to do in this video is show you a really simple way to make a parabolic shape with a flexible mirror. You can use the acrylic mirror for this, but this stuff is pretty much not indestructible. I mean, it will scratch up, but you can see that it is a very nice, true reflective surface. It's above 90%. What I've done, is I've made this really simple square and I've put some temporary legs on it. This lets me work with it. Now by placing the mirror in there, you're going to notice that gravity will give it a parabolic shape. I have gloves on because this stuff has some really sharp edges. But just by letting gravity do its thing, it creates this nice parabolic shape to it. Now if you want a longer focal length, you would pretty much mount it something like this. If you want to shorten the focal length so that it's deeper in, you just simply bend it like that. Now I'm going to be putting some bars here to hold it in place. This will wobble a little bit, so this isn't the ideal long-term installation, but it's a really good way to show you how to, uh, to test your project without going through the trouble of building a really complex parabola. This is not a perfect parabola. This is a cross between a catenary shape, if you can Google search that and see what that is, and a parabola. It's not a spherical shape. It actually creates a beam that is very, very tight and very, very targeted. You waste very little sunlight with scattering like this. So, in my opinion, this is the quickest and easiest way to do it. it you can go through all the uh, building the perfect parabola, but this works really good. So now that we have this, all we have to do is take our mirror. Drop it into place and that's going to hold it there. You want to make sure that you want to measure these and make sure the ends are even. So your mirror is lined up on both sides. And this is going to be a relatively deep trough. It's probably going to put a focal point right about here. You can put holes in these brackets here and raise it and lower it if you want to make it adjustable. I have another piece that should fit in here. I'm just going to screw this down and pinch this together to hold it. Now, you're probably thinking, well, you're going to lose that center part. It doesn't really matter because your target's going to be right here and that's going to be blocking the sunlight coming in anyway. So the center of the trough is never used because your target blocks it unless you use a very, very thin pipe. But you can make this wood thinner. I'm using the old reverse trick to reverse the, strip out the hole. And then that's got that pinch down nice and tight. You don't want to put too much pressure because you'll actually pinch and dent the mirror right there. So we're just going to go light and that should hold that in place. That's locked down pretty good. So you can see how nice that beam is all the way down. This is a small piece of wood that I put on there just to show you where the focal point is. Try to balance that. Smokes that wood instantly.
I took an evacuated tube and attached it to this. These tubes have a vacuum around the outside with a dark surface on the inside, so sunlight's allowed to penetrate. There's water boiling in there right now, and I can touch the outside. I did a video on these about a year ago. The link's down below. You can get these off of the internet. One thing you never want to do is leave these tubes out in the sun without any water in them because they'll actually get destroyed. These will boil water in about two hours without a trough or anything just by sitting in the sun. This with this trough, there's 30 ounces of water in here with the starting temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Took 14 minutes to boil with this trough. This whole setup took me about 20 minutes to build. So this is a really quick way to get a demo unit or if you're just looking to boil water or make a parabolic cooker, easy way to do it. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.